What is up everybody? Chris from Team Aquascape, Jack and the gang from Memphis Water Gardens and myself are going to be creating an 11 by 16 foot pond today with a beautiful waterfalls using gorgeous aqua blue boulders. You guys ready to see what we're doing? Okay. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Yes, that is correct. We are doing an aqua blue pond today, which you can see a couple of the pallets sitting behind me. And then directly behind me now is the canvas for the day. We are going to be taking this space right here and completely overhauling it, doing a really, really fun, interactive 11 by 16 foot pond, very amoebic shape. We'll get it close into the patio. Skimmer's gonna go back over there. Bio Falls is gonna come up over here, fall back towards the house into an upper pool. And then that will flow into the pond and everything is going to be absolutely gorgeous using that rock we have more than enough stone which is great because i love having this selection the guys are going to be here shortly so i want to make sure that i get this area get all the stuff off the patio so we have a nice open area to work and then start spraying out the pond so let me set the camera down i'll be right back All right, so since we last connected, product is here. Memphis Water Gardens guys are here. Jack and Juan and myself are also here. We're gonna go ahead and spray out this pond, get the biofall sunk right up in here. It's gonna face back towards the house, knock this berm back a little bit. We actually may even set a couple boulders back in here just to give us an area to retain our soil. And then that pond is gonna get laid out right in here. So here's the overall layout. It might be a little hard to see. I've got a couple of lines drawn out and I ended up going a little too far back based on the liner size. So I ended up shrinking the pond a little bit. But what we've got here is skimmer will be located over here. This will be the far edge of the pond. I've got a gravel beach area over here, which will be awesome. Kind of twists and turns. We've got a little backwater cove there and then a peninsula right here. We'll get right up close to the patio at this point. And then the pond itself really only comes into here. This little circle right up here will be an upper pool that the biofalls will dump into well up. So we're gonna have to retain this because I actually want this upper pool to be a little bit taller than grade here. So we'll have to throw in some skinny rocks just to help hold all that stuff back. But I'd like the water up here to be three, four inches above the patio. And then this biofalls will get sunk down about a foot. So that'll be about a foot to 14 inch tall waterfall into this upper pool. And then it will so it'll come this way, then dog leg, exit into the pond here, and then twist and turn through a serpentine pond. Very very kind of amoebic shape but we're gonna do some really cool stuff we're gonna go deep with this i'm gonna go ahead and just go three feet because we've got rocks to support that so yeah it's gonna be a really really interactive pond they have a young child so we want to make it so that we have a lot of these kind of peninsula rocks flat butt rocks just areas we're going to play on i know aqua blues are generally a large jagged stone but we're gonna try and make it very kid friendly and interactive as well now before we do any of the digging and sinking the biofalls down i actually want to build my retaining walls so that I have something to retain the soil so we're not going in after the fact. So Juan's over here. We're gonna set a couple of boulders along that backside. Let's go ahead and pull out that daylily right there. And we're gonna start sinking in some of these boulders to give ourselves an area to throw that dirt once we start excavation. Start of that retaining wall back in here that we're working on. We'll probably end up putting like another little chunk right down in front of there and then we'll end up terracing it back. I think we'll slide another rock coming out this way just at some point. Um, but we're gonna try and get this guy kind of sloped in there and uh, see what happens. So 
working through excavation here. Get the pipe attached to the bio falls. Now a lot of this dirt's gonna get flopped up back over here. Start building that burn out. We're also gonna use a lot of this stuff and create a subtle burn back over there to achieve a couple things. One is to give a little bit more undulations in the landscape to add a little bit more interest. But what we're also gonna do is raise up that whole back edge, which was about eight inches lower than the top of patio. So we're gonna take some of this and go ahead and just throw it up over there, flatten it all out, just to raise elevations so that we can bring water level a little bit higher and get it closer to the height of this patio. So we are in good shape. We've got our heavy duty underlayment underneath the liner. You can see Jack over there hooking up the liner to the skimmer box. So he'll be installing that, getting that done. While he's working on that, we're gonna start getting stones and start rocking along this near side here just to help get that done. We may throw a couple in over there just to help establish that peninsula. But the goal is to try and get this pond as rocked as we can today. We're a little behind, but I think once these big rocks start going in, we're gonna be in good shape. So a bunch of rocks, we'll backfill with gravel behind them. We shouldn't have to do a terrible amount of digging or re-excavation of the hole. We went ahead and overdug a lot of it, compensating for not only the height of the stones, but also the thickness of them. So hopefully we do a good job of staircasing our way back. And so that bottom layer, we set out far enough inside the pond to be able to get rock back behind it and go up those vertical shelves. We had a fantastic day out here. The sun has been shining. It is absolutely gorgeous out. We got a lot of the pond rock considering we didn't even have liner in this thing before lunch. So we've got about half the pond, if not maybe a little bit more rock. We've got the retaining wall done. We've got the bio falls in, skimmers hooked up. We've got our plumbing ran. This guy right here has been fantastic. Frank, come here real quick. Yep. We've been working together all week and we've done a variety of projects together. Yep. Anybody in the Memphis area that's looking for a talented, overqualified but just wonderful company certified aquascape contractor give these guys a shout memphis water gardens how can they get a hold of you yeah you can reach us on our website memphiswatergardens.com or by phone 901-286-3302 we'd love to uh, love to connect with you and see what we can do to help to awesome. uh, make your space beautiful awesome and you've done the full gamut as far as water features yeah Install. we do fountains ponds waterfalls even do lake management and yeah what were you saying installation and maintenance too yeah, design installation and maintenance that's love fantastic to fantastic so he is the real deal, full service company. If you guys need, need help in that Memphis, Tennessee area, give these guys a shout. They've been fantastic. We are going to come back after the weekend and we're going to button this thing up. We've got about half the rock left to finish this off. So we're probably going to have the accurate amount of stone. We've got a couple of big monster boulders that I think are really going to make this waterfall turn out incredible. We'll probably sink a couple in the landscape. We also have three yards of black topsoil. Make this thing nice and tight. This thing is going to look epic. So I'll see you at the end of the weekend. Everybody, we are back back out on this super fun aqua blue project. This is day two. We've got a new batch of contractors out here from CE Ponds out of Pennsylvania. We've got Jada, Ryan, and Keith here helping us today. We're gonna knock this project out and they're gonna be a big reason why we're gonna finish it today. So if you remember, this is where we left it the other night. One of our aeration lines coming up that's weighted tubing. You can see we've got ground. It's about 40 degrees out. So we've got some steam coming off of the liner here as the sun comes out. It's gonna be a beautiful day. You've got Jack over there. Bringing in some extra gravel. This is fantastic. We're going to move all these little boulders just off to the side. And we're going to start slamming some big rocks in and really have this thing start to take shape. Super excited to have the gang from Ponce in from Pennsylvania. They do incredible work and just really, really glad that they're on our team today because they're going to be, like I said, a big reason why we finished this thing. So let's do it.
That's right, everybody, you guessed it. We are wrapped with this incredible project. Sun just went down. We were waiting for that just to be able to get you guys some glamour shots with no shadows, but let me turn the camera around. Remember, we had a 20 by 25 liner, an SLD four to 7,000 gallon per hour pump, a 6,000 biofalls, a signature series skimmer, 25 feet of pipe, and what else? Pro Air 60 to boot. Let me turn the camera around. It turned out absolutely incredible. There's that Eden kitchen, which we were trying to capitalize on the view. And then there is that gorgeous waterfalls. I love the split at the top. Our kind of dog legs that all comes right down through that little it's right there. We use the high point in the rock right there to funnel it all back down through that way into this about three inch deep pool and then it races across that main channel. You can see over there we've got some top water agitation. That's where we have one of our diffusers located right down there. The other one is at the base of that little rock that goes across to help push that water across. And the idea is, is we are taking that oxygenated water and ripping it across the current. But I love the shape of the pond. I love that it comes right up next to the patio in a lot of these spots. This is such a cool little gravel beach area. I love the cove. Gotta get something to hide that skimmer, a piece of driftwood or something, but it just looks so fun and awesome. This backwater cove over there, once it's planted with some aquatic plants, there's only about eight inches of water, about six inches of water over there. So that's great. And then we have all these aquatic plant pockets inside the liner that have fabric underneath to help wick that water. This turned out so awesome. Love this shape of the pond. Something about using these big aqua blues too just really sets the project apart than if it was all hand sized stuff. Water will clear up over the next 24 hours but I'd love to get back here and show you guys this thing planted up with fish in it because this thing looks absolutely incredible. No lights on this project. It was something that they opted not to do but maybe, maybe, just maybe after they live with it this evening they're going to realize why the heck didn't we put lights in. But that'll be a, an opportunity for us to come back and show you this thing when it's all filled in. It looks incredible. Huge shout out to to those guys back there, Jack, DK, Juan, of course, who was out here on the first day. And then we have Memphis Water Gardens, and then of course we got the guys from CE Ponce out of PA came in to help us wrap this thing up today. So thanks so much for watching. It was an absolute blast building this thing. We'll see you next time. 